Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ankit. I'm a self-taught UX UI designer and I create content on UX UI design. You can see I'm looking so excited and happy today. It's because of two main reasons. First is the immense love and support that you guys are giving me and second is that I have received a lot of comments on uh, my audio and people saying that I sound like a robot. So I'm getting used to the camera and trying to be comfortable here. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief introduction to the Figma interface and show you how to design a hero section and with that how I actually approach a problem. So let's dive into Figma first. I have it open right here and this is what you will see when you open a new project in Figma. Now what is Figma? Figma is one of the most used software around the globe for UI design. And why do we actually use Figma? So there are three main reasons that I consider that Figma is one of the best softwares. It is an it is easy to use software, it is free for all, and the number of features that it offers is quite amazing. So now that we are in Figma, Let's see what are the different features that we have in Figma which we will be using when we will be designing something. So first of all we have the main menu here. We can have different features like save, import, export or copy as. These type of features uh, they can be found in the main menu. These might not be the ideal features that we might be using every day but these features which we have in the uh, top section are the one that we will be using every day. So this is the move tool. We usually use it to uh, uh, drag something or grab something and move it here and there. With that we have the tool to scale the object. Apart from that we have the frame. We can click A and we can select these frames from the frame uh, features. We will be using it shortly so I won't go deep into it. Apart from that, we have the features of shape and we can have different shapes like rectangle, circle, lines and all. These we will be using as well. So let's move on. We have the pen tool and the pencil tool. I have my Wacom pen and tablet here so I can give you an example by for pencil. So when we select pencil, uh, we can actually write on Figma anything. We can build shapes with our hands only. And this we will be using as well when we will be going through the process of identifying problems in this uh, website. Next we have the text option. We can add any text here from the text feature. Moving on, the next thing we have is the plugins. This feature we have three things in this and we have components, plugins and widgets. In components, we have the components that we have created in this file and these will be visible here or in the assets. Next up, we have the plugins. When we uh, are designing something and we use something that can help us with prototyping or mockups or anything else, we can use plugins here. And uh, we can, we, if we don't have any saved plugins, we can just directly search here and enter any name of the plugin and that will come up. Next we have widgets. Widgets are the uh, components that are created uh, by Figma only and uh, these are saved in the widgets we which we can drag and drop in the Figma file which is not our goal in this uh, video so we will be discussing it in another one. Next up we have the move tool. We can click on it and move anything or move the whole Figma file here and there. Next we have the comments. So when we click on it anywhere in the frame so we can add comments to our file and that is pretty helpful when you want to communicate with developers or any part uh, like designers that you are working with. Next up we have the title of the uh, page or a Figma file we can say. So I can name it anything I want. I will name it as redesign 
hero section that will be great and uh, after that we have two things we have the left side bar and the right side bar so in the left side bar what we have is we have the layers and assets in the layers we can see there are two things one is image 2 and when i hover over it this frame is highlighted so when i click on it this frame is highlighted and this is selected as well with that i have another frame which you cannot see right now if i move back you can see that i have my icon library here in this layers we have two options we have the pages as well the page and the frames that we will be having in one file those will be displayed here we can add it from here or directly from the sidebar only moving on to the right side we have the design prototype and inspect in the design we can create the design we can edit it we can rechange it we can iterate it and after that we have prototype we will we will be discussing this in other another video how to do prototype for a uh, app or website or something for now we will be just going through the design because this is a basic tutorial so we won't be going deep into the prototype inspect is something that can help you or that is majorly for the developers that are using the file they can click on the object they are working on they can see the sizes the colors and different stuff from that so yeah that is pretty much it for the basics of interface of figma and we will now jump into the design phase of this website now what is a hero section a hero section is an area you see when you enter a website or a hero section can be defined as the face of your website you might have heard that the first impression is the last impression so an effective and impressive hero section is what you need what are the things that are included in a hero section it should include everything in brief that you have on a website for example this is the furniture e-commerce website so here we will be including what we are selling if it is a portfolio website then we will be including information about the person and the work he or she is doing now that's enough talking let's design in front of me i have a screenshot of a hero section of a website and what we will be doing is we will be redesigning this in a different way and in a better way so first of all what we will be doing is we will be finding out the mistakes that are there present there in this hero section we will note it down and then we will be redesigning this hero section so i have my pen here so let's just select the pencil tool we can select it from shift plus p as well so first of all that the first thing that i notice here is uh, the top section here is empty there is no balance i see that there is no balance here and here this uh, is the header of the website and we don't have any balance here we have the store information and the navigation here but and the socials here but we don't have anything here the, this to me is looking something like the login page of a website we have the username and password here and the information or marketing banner something on the right side so what we will be doing is we will be creating a balance here and uh, as a notice uh, this is the logo of the website which should not be here present here we will be moving it up here and uh, we will be changing this to here and uh, if you haven't noticed there is one problem as well here uh, they, these are the social media platforms but the icons are not consistent we should be maintaining a consistency while using icons uh, first of all we have the line icons then we have the filled icons and i don't know if it is a dual duotone or not but let's just say it is a filled icon again and this is the line icon if we are designing we should be having an icon library and we should be using it throughout the website so for that i'll be using one kind of icons only and we will be using it in this website moving on 
we have this information now we have the uh, favorite brand of architects and top interior designers across india this, this is the tagline of the website which should be highlighted but here it is not now moving on next up we have the tagline of the website which should be highlighted and here it is not so we will be having this in a different way uh, i can say we can increase the contrast here by increasing the size of this font and uh, we can also give it a different color or something and we might do some more changes here which are needed and for now uh, we will just go with this one and these information will be present as well because these are the key highlights of the uh, products that we have next up the shop now button this call to action button uh, it is quite good i don't have any problem with this but we might be changing this as well or maybe we might not have it or we will see uh, when we will be designing now this is wait a minute now this is the phone number here and this is not the primary action that we might be showing in a highlighted manner so now that we have identified our problems so what we will do is we will start creating a basic wireframe so that we have an idea what we will be doing and for that let's just select a frame and uh, go to design we have different frames here so I'll be selecting the desktop one because this is the most used frame size 1440 by 1024. So here what we'll do is we'll be creating a wireframe. So first of all we will be having uh, let's select the pencil tool. So first of all what we will be having is the logo of the company, logo of the brand. So I will be placing it somewhere here. Uh, Yes, that is the right place. And next up, we have the navigation bar. So we do have these navigations here, store, account, about, and contact us. So I'll be keeping these here, one, two, three. And if you haven't noticed here is, we have the cart icon here. The main problem here is that the first three icons are for social media and for the last one, I guess people might not even look at it because they might think this is also a social media uh, icon and it is a navigation to one of the social media platforms. So the problem here is the cart icon is not highlighted. So we will be highlighting it and putting it in our navigation bar only. If you have seen Flipkart, so they have it, uh, the cart icon on the top right corner as well. So what we'll do is we'll create a call to action button for a cart or we can just do one thing and we can have the icon and the text here for the cart. Next up we have uh, the advertisement banner. See you can see here that almost 60 to 70 percent of the uh, page is occupied by this. So I'm, what I'm thinking for this website is I should create a center aligned website uh, hero section and uh, here I was uh, we can do is this much space will be occupied for our advertisement banner now what we can do here is we can show our offer as well and either we can write it in our uh, banner only or we can do is we can create a highlighted box so that we can show that we have this much of discount in this particular pro product now the whole image will be a clickable image so that we can navigate to the product the user can navigate to the product if he or she wants to explore the product more the next thing that we have is the phone number here so what we'll do is we'll put the phone number in this corner here. So this corner will be occupied by the phone number and the next corner is for the WhatsApp call to action button. And we have the main headings. We will cover it right now. And before that we have the small arrow down arrow button to show that uh, the, there is more information down. 
Now for the hero section, the title is uh, something that communicates to the user. The user will read it and get more information apart from the images and videos that are present there. So for that, we, we will be having one big H1 headline which highlights our products or the website. Then we will be having a smaller body text which can further define our headline or the website. Now we have two things left here. One is the call to action button and one is these features here. So what we can do is we can mention these features uh, in a smaller body text above the H1 and we can have the call to action button here on the bottom of the body text. Or what we can do is we can have these um, features inside the banner or we can have it on the side of the hero section. This is it. This is how I redesign a basic hero section and how I identify the problems before I start the redesign. If you guys like the video, do hit the subscribe button. Comment down the feedbacks and suggestions what videos can be helpful for you guys. And thank you so much for watching the video. See you till next time.